5 seconds to go. Start. Friends, developing a vaccine in such a short time is a great achievement in itself for the entire humanity. But it also has its limits. Even after the vaccine was developed, vaccination started in very few countries of the world and that too only in prosperous countries. WHO gave guidelines regarding vaccination. Scientists laid out the outline for the vaccination. India also decided to do the vaccination in a phased manner on the basis of the best practices of other countries and as per the standards of the World Health Organization. The central government took full care of the suggestions received from the various meetings held with the chief ministers and the suggestions received by the colleagues of various parties in the parliament. Only after this it was decided that priority would be given to those who are more at risk from corona. That is why health workers, frontline workers, citizens above 60 years of age and citizens above 45 years of age suffering from diseases started getting the vaccine on priority. Can you imagine what would have happened if our frontline workers were not vaccinated before the second wave of corona? Imagine what would have happened if our doctors and nursing staff were not vaccinated? What would have happened if our brothers and sisters employed to clean hospitals and our ambulance drivers were not vaccinated? It is due to the vaccination of health workers that they were able to take care of others and save the lives of millions of countrymen. But in the midst of decreasing corona cases in the country, different suggestions and demands started coming before the central government. It was asked, why is the government of India deciding everything? Why are the state governments not being given leeway? Why are the state governments not being allowed in deciding the relaxation of lockdown? Comments like one size does not fit all were also made. It was argued that since health is primarily a state subject under the constitution, it is better that the states should carry out the necessary work. Hence, a beginning was made in this direction. The government of India made a comprehensive guideline and gave it to the states so that they could work according to their requirement and convenience. The government of India accepted the demands of the states regarding imposing a corona curfew at the local level, creation of micro containment zones and arrangements for treatment. Friends, from January 16 till the end of April this year, India's vaccination program ran mainly under the supervision of the central government. The country was moving in the direction of providing free vaccines to all. The citizens of the country too were maintaining discipline and getting vaccinated when it was their turn. Meanwhile, several state governments again said that the vaccine work should be decentralized and left to the states. Several voices were raised, like why age groups were created for vaccination. On the other hand, someone said that why should the central government decide the age limit? There were some voices also that why are the elderly being vaccinated earlier? 
various pressures were also created and a section of the country's media also ran it in the form of a campaign friends after much deliberation it was agreed that if the state governments also want to make efforts on their behalf so why should the indian government object in view of this demand from the states and keeping in mind their request a change was made in the system which was going on since january 16 as an experiment we thought that when the states are making this demand and they have enthusiasm so let us give 25% of the work to them as a result 25% of the work was handed over to the states from may 1st and they also made efforts in their own way to complete it gradually they also started realizing the difficulties in such a momentous task the states also realized the status of vaccination in the whole world we noticed that on the one hand there was the second wave in may the increasing interest of people for the vaccine on the other and the difficulties of the state governments on the third side by the passage of two weeks in may some states began to openly say that the earlier system was good those who were advocating that the states should be entrusted with the vaccination also started changing their views it was a good thing that the states came forward again with the demand for reconsideration in time on this demand of the states we also taught that the countrymen should not suffer and their vaccination should proceed with smoothly so we decided to implement the old system which was in place before 1st may that is from 16th january to the end of april friends today it has been decided that the government of india will also bear the responsibility of 25% of the work related to vaccination with the states this arrangement will be implemented in the next 2 weeks in these 2 weeks the central and state governments together will make necessary preparations according to the new guidelines coincidentally two weeks later international yoga day falls on june 21 from june 21 the government of india will provide free vaccines to the states for all citizens above the age of 18 years the government of india itself will buy 75% of the total vaccine production from vaccine manufacturers and give it to the state governments free of cost that is no state government of the country will have to spend anything on the vaccine till now crores of people of the country have got free vaccines stop